We're gonna do the looper light. We've already done the looper light, but I just wanna show you guys that. I don't know why. It's the only injection that we do tonight. First injection after not having injections in a long time. Little looper line. One of these. If you guys have, if you guys have seen our uh, other videos, you you guys r should remember this. Maybe I don't know. So this is like the tiniest little shot. It told me to put it to ten. So I did. Little needle. Now we're gonna put it into amber. How do you feel? I didn't feel the medicine at all. I felt the needle a little bit. Alright, that's the very first shot. We just want to show you guys. Um, but yeah. See you guys tomorrow. We're going in for the blood draw of this week. After this taking, what were you taking? Luperlite. After taking Luperlite for like four days, uh, five days? Seven, I think. Seven? Yeah, seven. They're gonna check to see if she's suppressed. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a clip of that for y'all. Since we owe you guys videos. We try and get as much as we can now, since it's been a little while since we've uploaded. But yeah, see you guys in there. I can't see it. What is it? Let me see. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> she did it. She did it. Now we just gotta wait for the results. We'll come in later this afternoon. Um, we're gonna actually be at work when they come in, but when we get off work, we'll check them and then we'll go ahead and update you guys and see what's the deal, yo, and what the next steps are gonna be. So hopefully she's suppressed so we can get the party rolling and we can get started so oh, we can yeah. get pregnant already. <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't as bad this time because I think my veins were just so sore last time from being poked and prodded every other day. Three days in a row one time. Yeah, but we haven't been back for a week or so. Like or a month. Like a month. Wait, you haven't been poked in a month? No, like not up here since like um, the beginning of March. And here we are towards the end of April, so it's been almost two months. Month and a half. So yeah. We haven't been here in a while and it felt weird, but we're gonna be coming back a lot. One more time? You're not, you're not coming back to get checked for your lining and stuff? I have one more appointment for a blood draw and a um, ultrasound, and then the next time I'm here is gonna be for transfer day. Jesus Christ. So it's less appointments this time. Wow, okay. So yeah. Amber knows more than me, because I get so confused. I swear, when we were doing the first part of the IVF, we were here all the time. like. For a week, we'd be like here a few times a week, and it was just like I was expecting it like that for this time for the FET for the frozen embryo transfer, but I guess not. Time's ticking, it's yeah, almost time. They said it's a lot less, uh, less stressful, less time consuming, less medicine like pretty much less this time around because the hard work was getting the eggs out and fertilizing. Now we're just making sure that my body is like capable and ready to hold these embryos. Yeah, hard, everything's easier except the medication this time because it's gonna hurt yeah it's less medicine but it's more of the intramuscular needles that go into booty yeah the booty ones yeah. the muscle ones but yeah <gasps> yeah so we'll go to work it'll be a couple seconds for you guys but it'll be 10 hours for us but we'll share with you guys the results and hopefully she's suppressed so on those two seconds you guys wait cross your fingers pray and we'll see how the results come out so yeah, bye. See you guys. See you in a little bit. Hi guys. Did you guys pray for us? 
I hope you did. Because we're out of work and we have results. We haven't listened to it because we want to listen to it with you guys. But we got dinner started. And I made pasta with ground turkey and Alfredo sauce. So we're eating. And when we're done, we'll share the news with y'all. Hopefully it's good news. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but we are in bed, as you can tell. And we're gonna listen to Amber tell us the results because it's on this little portal thing that she has. The little portal thing. That's where they give her all the news and stuff like that for any results that she has. So yeah, she's gonna read them and we're gonna see how they work and how they came out. Go ahead. All right, so clicking it. Good morning, Ambrosia. Great news. Your labs indicate suppression. You can continue your Luperlite at 10 units and begin your estrogen, the estradiol injections, as instructed in your calendar. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Yay, so you're suppressed. Um, if I wasn't suppressed, then the transfer and the whole process could have been shifted by a couple of days up to a week. But since I am suppressed, everything is still on the schedule and it's for go. Yay! Woo! If you guys are still wondering what suppressed means, it just means that she her hormones are all turned off. Yeah. And now they're gonna put in the estrogen that they need, like the right amount that they need. So that's gonna be some oil shots that I'm gonna be giving her. Intramuscular, so that's gonna be when? Uh, starting Friday, I believe. Starting Friday. So we will see you guys on Friday when we start our first shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you guys are new, welcome. And if you like these videos and you're not subscribed, subscribe because we're trying to grow the family here. I'm just kidding. More videos to come that are yeah. TTC IVF related. Yep. Specifically, FET, so frozen embryo transfer. So, yeah, we get in detail about our videos, as you guys can tell, and personal and stuff. We just want to show you guys how it goes and what goes on and stuff. So, we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye! Bye.